Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while on my way to extinguish a fire with the volunteer fire department. Well, coming at you with thoughts of the day. Isn't it delightful? It's kind of chilly out here, and I thought, oh, I look like a, um, I don't know what I look like. Don't comment on that. I'm a little, I don't know, I'm just trying to back away from certain things, I guess, and see who reports on what, honestly. And I'm getting a little bit uh, depressed about it, but I'm not going to let it get to me. Although I just left a total message under one of my um, subscribers' videos about it just to get it off my chest. And I thought maybe I should come, you know, live, come at you. Not live, but close enough. Wildly, look, the owl can still look over my very um, square shoulder. Yeah. Also, I'm really doing well with work. Not with sales, though, but I mean with getting all my stuff turned in. I'm out of control. I've turned in... Two meetings, my column, the birthdays and histories, the collage, and right now I'm looking for a word search for our lovely viewers. I don't know what theme to use. Last week I did a UFO one. I didn't make it myself. I used to make them myself. Not those, but crosswords. Anyhow, what the heck. Yeah, I'm getting very discouraged with um, a lot of people, except for maybe H.A. Goodman, Tim Black, and Jimmy Dore, and Lee Camp, and the Sane Progressive. I don't get to look at Sane Progressive a whole lot because it's usually, she does a little bit longer videos and stuff and I can listen for a while, but I don't know. I'm just, I guess, you know, I'm learning a life lesson, ladies and gentlemen, that I thought a lot of these alternative media, progressive, supposedly number one progressives in alternative, no corporate media kind of uh, BS or... um I don't even know. Let me start that again. I wish I could rewind and edit. What I'm trying to say is, I guess I'm learning a life lesson about those who claim to be independent, progressive media that doesn't get talking points from mainstream media. To me, it looks like a lot of them. I'm not even going to name names here because... I don't know, I'm just not. People get attached to somebody and they take it as a personal offense if you say a dear word against progressive talk show host A or B, so I'm just not going to get into that. But, um, yeah, they just... I, I don't know, they seem to me to be absolutely just towing the Democratic Party line. And, I, you know, a lot of stuff's going on in the world right now in terms of this budget that you know, the hideous Republicans want to pass and all the, you know, we have Republicans coming out and saying how absolutely horrendous Donald Trump is and his tweeting is, you know, so offensive and yet they go along with his every whim. So what's the difference? I mean, shallow, 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 I tell you. I did look at a video of a gentleman Brendan, I think it's Brendan or Brandon, his last name is Boyle, he's a representative across the state, in the Philadelphia area, and he, I like him, I have to say, now I haven't delved into every aspect of his voting career, well, I should, probably should do that before I declare that I like him, but I do like how he, what he stands up and says, but then again, boy, I should really look into that, because you have to really look at people, what they do rather than what they say, I've learned. I guess I'm learning a lot, ladies and gentlemen, and it's eye-opening and upsetting all at the same time, all a part of the growth. I mean, a lot of you remember me when I was just freshly um, exiting the Fox News hole or whatever. The Fox hole. So, you know, I've come a long way from there, I suppose. But um, I get discouraged. But then again, I have to remember that a lot of people don't work from home. They don't have, you know, all the time on their hands to look things up and see what's going on or look at another side of the aisle, so to speak, or whatever. Yeah, I'm talking about maybe the fans of these other places now, not the places themselves. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm having a down moment. Thought I'd share with you. Aren't you excited? Aren't you thrilled that I came at you with this really rambling video? So, yeah. Um, I have found, and I've said this before, and I'm sure this will cause you know what? My catchphrase. But, um, you know, say what you will about some of the so-called right-wing news outlets or whatever. And, you know, clearly I don't agree with them on many things. Uh, the alternative media is what I'm saying. But 
I can say really what I want in the comment section about how horrible the Republicans are, about how terrible the Democrats are, something hideous about Hillary, something terrible about Trump. Guess what happens? Nobody jumps my shit. That's what happens. So I'd find it very disturbing that there are certain groups that claim to be open-minded and, and forward-looking and all this jazz that have absolutely closed their minds to... Anything that I guess the mainstream doesn't push is considered to be a conspiracy. You know, this whole deal with the CIA labeling people conspiracy theorists when they when they went against the official findings of the Warren report in terms of the Kennedy assassination, it has really been effective. And I've noticed that now um, over the years because anybody who really doesn't parrot in some manner or get their talking points or reflect what the mainstream media, the corporate media, the hideously owned state-run media is saying, they're considered to be conspiracy theorists. I've heard people tell me I'm a conspiracy theorist because of the Hillary Clinton uranium thing and also because of the hideous Clinton Foundation. Yeah, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Also because of the hideous things that George Bush the Elder was accused of doing. Check out that Franklin Savings and Loan scandal if you don't believe me, but... You know, I'm just a big old conspiracy theorist. You know, I hope everybody's happy that the CIA has been effective in your closed-mindedness. Okay, with that, since I know I'm going to cause people to stampede off and unsubscribe, I better get going. Just bear with me, would you? Uh, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Please join me, join others. Drop your political identities, please, for the love of everything lovable. Uh, uh, what else do I say? Uh, drop your down. Focus on issues. Leave labels at the door and research before you judge. Love you.